being played on a Nintendo Switch, if you hadn't figured that out. In our last episode, we uh, fought the insect boss in the poisonous swamp. Now, let's make sure we've still got that gas mask equipped and try to make our way back out of here. We now have the level 2 fire sword that just absolutely wrecks people. This level 2 blast is as particularly handy if you listen carefully to the sounds You'll hear it get multiple hits each time it strikes. Taking out a lot of these guys in one hit. I guess technically it's two or three hits, but, you know, who's counting? All that matters to me is that I can kill those bugs. Now, let's see. How do we do against giant mushrooms? Oh, that is way more handy. Put refresh back. Oh, still got to land the hits. So, giant slimes. Let's see how we do. Oh, leveling up is going to go so much faster with this fire sword. Oh, I thought I was going to get all for even at once. That would have been nice. Oh. Faster leveling. Feeling good about that. Let's go ahead and heal. And we're going to go over and equip those rabbit boots. As annoying as the sound is, jumping sure is it. Uh-oh. I don't have enough power to make it. That's, that one hurt. I just jumped right on top of him. I don't know. Guess I thought I was playing Mario or something. So. Slime killer. Man. Should have silenced my phone. Okay. Three stabs. Now. Normally, oh, there's a frame rate drop. Normally, you would need to go back to the town. So, oh, I am not doing well today on the whole driving thing. We're going to go to West Mount Saber. Now, that uh, pathway going north that said we weren't strong enough goes to North Mount Saber. We'll be going to that place in the future. That That's a fun place. Um, we almost ran right into him. We have 60... Oh, we have $148. We might actually be able to upgrade our armor. Let's head back to the village. So, what have we got equipped right now? We have leather armor and a carapace shield. See what we can do. I'm sure they have better equipment. Leather armor we already have. Bronze shield sure would be nice. 220. Let's go over here to the pawn shop. Let's see how much we can make. We can get 50 for that. We get 40 for the shield. That puts us at just barely enough. Let's go get that bronze shield. That sure is going to come in handy when we face this next level of bad guys. Nope. Now we only have $22. Okay. Nice. Let's head down south. Figure out how to get to West Mount Saber. Ooh. I need to pay more attention. You move just just fast enough to make it dangerous. When you're walking into uh, new territory, guys can just kind of appear there. Now there's some different looking water right there. 
that's going to come in important here in just a little while. So let's remember that kind of water and uh, see what we can do with that in the future. Now, over here in West Mount Saber, we're going to have some of the some of my favorite music in this whole game. It uh, definitely dates the game a little bit. It's definitely going to sound like... Yeah, that's retro music for you right there. Oh, these zombie things take a lot of hits. What's over here? Hmm. Uh-oh. He is immune. To fire. So we're going to have to uh, use a little bit of strategy in here. Make sure we've got the correct weapon for the correct bad guys. Whoa. running away. I don't know what those are. They kind of look like brain spiders. Well, we're getting the experience and the money back pretty quickly. Happy with that. What's up here? Oh, music change. We're in a mystic cave now. That means there's probably a wise man. We need our fire sword again, don't we? Uh-oh. <laughs> Took a screenshot by accident. Uh-oh. The wind is filled with sorrow. Return to leaf soon. Hmm. So now we have kind of a shortcut that takes us back to a Zebu's cave, or Zebu. I don't want to say his name. Oh no, another screenshot. All those buttons are too close together. Oh. Okay. There we go. I thought I was about to get slowly overrun. Level six. That's exciting. Oh, twelve hundred experience to get to the next level. Even with these guys, that's going to take a while. Okay. One cave successfully explored. Oh. Fire sword again. Looks like we confused him. Yeah. Well, that was a good one. Now, this is an annoying feature. Those are, uh, like landslides for ice ramps. I don't know. Whatever they are, you can't walk up them. What's down here? <laughs> right over his head. Oh no! I couldn't aim. We're gonna have to probably heal here in a minute. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and swap over to that wind sword. And move carefully.
fire sword again. Ooh, well that's new. Oh, wind sword doesn't hurt him. Fire sword for the win. Oh, dodge me. What kind of experience are we getting for these guys? We're at 190. Let's kill this guy. 98? Okay, so we're getting 8 experience each time we kill a giant spider. Okay. We're getting the same for a brain spider guy. Okay, what's this? Medical herb. That'll be handy. We'll use that here in a second. <coughs> Excuse me. My allergies have been really awful this year. Always feeling like I gotta clear my throat. Okay. More. I guess. Are these like hybrids? Pink bird snakes? Okay, gotta go back to the wind sword. See if I can pull this off without getting hurt. Mm -hmm. The fire blast does a lot of damage if you can land the hit. Is this is this where we started from? I don't think it is. Wind sword. Fire sword. So, Nintendo released a remake of this game for the Game Boy Color. And in that game, they took out the elemental affinities uh, for some of these monsters. So, every sword can hurt everybody. It doesn't matter what element they're uh, immune to or weak against. I personally don't mind the, uh, weapon swapping. It adds a little bit of extra difficulty and, uh, strategy to the game, I guess. And I'm okay with that. It, um, like NES games are naturally difficult compared to modern games, in my opinion, at least. Oh, got it. Oh, no. <laughs> Time to use that medical herb. Might even need to use two of those. I don't know. Um, maybe it's just my opinion, but I, I personally feel that these old NES games are harder than a lot of the newer games. There's more strategy, there's a little bit less uh, over-the-top abilities for your heroes. Oh no! Sure hope I have an antidote on me. Oh good. Well, let's not make that mistake again. say this, I would really like to see a sequel to this, or even a remake of this, done on a modern console. I think that would be a lot of fun. I 
I could see this making kind of a uh, Dragon Quest-ish kind of game. Or like a Dragon Quest Heroes, I guess. Not a full-on RPG, a good action RPG. Ooh, what did we find? You found me, but you have to find the tornado bracelet before I teach you more magic. The magic ring. That is a one-use item. Uh, it replenishes your magic meter. Which is pretty handy. Again. Okay. I don't know if poison wears off over time or if it is a permanent affliction. If it's permanent, we're in trouble. Because I cannot get back to town fast enough to survive. Oh no. Oh man, these hydras are tearing me up. Let's get healed. Oh! Zombies! Come on. Oh, wait a minute. We can make it back to town. We can, we can head around. Nope. still poisoned. Uh, we're gonna use that magic ring. Heal up. Well, it's official. I am lost. Oh, that's the long slide. Town should be right over here. Awesome. Now let's just see if we can make it back to town without dying. Almost there. We are gonna make it. And we have plenty of money. Yes, let's get antidote. Let's get two of those. And warp boots, something we have not purchased before. So, antidote. There we go. Now, okay, so we've successfully explored a little bit of Western Mount Saber. On that note, we're going to have to pick this up in our next video where we continue searching for the Tornado Bracelet. When we find that, we'll find our way back to Tornell and uh, see where he sends us next. On that, guys, turn in your equipment, sign the log, and uh, we'll see you on the next, the next edition of Cuffs and Buffs. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.